What's up everyone, I'm Carl Johnson and in this video I'm going to show you how to invert your logo colour on individual pages. So to start off, this is only for the Brian family of templates. Um, there's a lot of templates in the Brian family. I'll put a list in the description below. But if your template isn't covered by it, then feel free to buzz me in the comments and I'll give you the adjusted code for your template. So we've got our site and this is the run on theme of the site. We've got dark images at the top of the page. We've got our logo that we've uploaded in white. But sometimes you might not want to put a background image in, um, maybe like on a terms and conditions page or a contact page. So if we head over to our fictional terms and conditions page, you can see the navigation's adjusted. So you can see the navigation, but the logo, the logo is still there. We just can't see it now because it's white on a white background. So what we can do is just invert the logo color on this page. So to do that, we just come across to the cog icon on the page that we want to insert the code into and then to advanced. Okay, so in the page header code injection, we're just going to put some style tags. So we do this by going left angle bracket and then style. And Squarespace will create the closing style tag. So we'll just bring that down a couple of lines. And now we need to target the logo. So we go with dot header dash branding dash logo and then a left squiggly bracket come down the line and then we're going to go dash web kit dash filter colon invert normal bracket 100% and then semicolon and I'm just going to then copy this invert 100% because we're going to use this on the next line so copy, come down to the next line, and then we're just going to put filter, colon, paste the invert 100%, and then down one more line, and put a right squiggly bracket, and then down and save. And that's inverted the logo just on this page. If we go back to the main page, we see our logo is still there, and it's white. So hope you found this video useful. If you'd like to see more Squarespace tutorials, please do subscribe and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye.